Christian with Algorithm. Today I'm going to talk about a bill of lading in Acumatica. Out of the box, Acumatica does not come with a bill of lading. Uh, the reason being is that many bill of ladings are different for each organization. They also have different variable information that we can't capture in a database and they usually need to be signed by somebody and retained for a period of time. So in order to utilize Acumatica to create a bill of lading, uh, we can easily do that by using Excel and exposing our data in what we call OData. So as you can see here, I've created a inquiry, a generic inquiry that shows us the information that I'm going to need to pull into my bill of lading. Kind of going under the hood here a little bit. If I go into this, you'll see I've pulled in a lot of the information from the order shipment. So the idea behind this particular one is that unless a shipment has been created from a sales order, um, it's not going to be available in this feed. I've also pulled in so that they're just for today's shipments. So nobody has to put in any parameters or anything to find the information they need. When they refresh the data, they're just going to get all of today's shipments so they can create their bill of ladings one at a time by using the order number. Go back and look at this inquiry. You'll see that I have one shipment in the system for order number 17 and shipment number 16. And it's the same. We have three lines on this item. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it over to Excel now and show you how to create that OData connection. One thing I do need to mention here is that when we create this generic inquiry, we need to check this box here that says exposed via OData. This is gonna allow Excel to go in and gather this information for us. So in order to do that, uh, we come over here and we go to data and we say, let's get data from other sources from an OData feed. This is going to ask us for a URL. And on this URL, we also need to tell it that we want to expose it via OData. So we're going to add OData to the end. And then we're going to put in the name of our instance or our, our company that we're logging into. So here I'm logging into company D200. So once we get to this authentication, using the basic authentication uh, seems to work the best here. And we're going to apply that. I'm going to put in my username and password and ask it to connect. Once we've connected, we will see a list of all of our generic inquiries that have been exposed via OData shown up here. So in this case, I'm just going to pull in the algo bill of lading, which is what that's called. And it kind of gives me a little preview of what's showing there. I can pick multiple items as well and combine them together. So and once I click that, I hit the load button. And this brings my data into a table into Excel. I'm going to skip over to another one I've already started here. I come over here to this. You'll see that I have a uh, a form that I've already started. Um, in this case, I'm my data is going to go on sheet three. So I'm just going to hit the refresh all at this point because I need to get new data here. And this would be something that would be done daily. And all of a sudden now, if you see on sheet three, this is the data that I pulled from Acumatica. And over here, I've created just a little uh, a box, a parameter box. So if I come in here and I ask for order number 17, by using just regular Excel functionality and formulas, 
it is nicely filled in much of the information that I can get straight out of Acumatica. From here, you can go in and type in the other information that you need, uh, print it out, and have it signed and ready for your driver.